Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of Psychology and Competitive Gaming. Today I want to talk to you about healthy habits. So habits that can help you perform way better or maybe a bit better than before. And today I want to talk about three of them. First one will be about sleep, exercise and diet. So why these habits? If you have healthy habits, it can improve a lot of things and help you a lot along the way. For example, it improves your focus, memory, and it lowers anxiety and depression and a lot more. So I want to talk to you about this because I think this can really help you uh, move on to the next step of your performance. So let's talk about sleep. There are three kinds of sleepers. Uh, and those are alert, like most focus in certain times for the day. First of all, you have the lark. Those are people who are like the morning people who are most productive during between 6 a.m. and the noon. So there's a period in day and the difference for everyone in what time they're most alert. Next up is the hummingbird. And those are just the afternoon people. They are most productive between noon and 6 p.m. And that's also where most people are. Like 80% of all the people are hummingbirds. So somewhere between 12 and 6, there's the most active and most alert. And the last and not least is the owl, which are people who are active around 6 p.m. to midnight. And a lot of people, especially in the gaming community, say they are like night owls and they play the most during the night. And I, I thought that too, but mostly because I had the most time to play during the night and during the evening. So I figured, okay, that's the time I play, so that's the uh, time I'm the best at. But only 10% of everyone is in a night owl. So what I did was I tried something new. I tried to adjust my sleeping schedule. And I found out that I'm actually most alert in the morning. Like most of these videos I make at like 9 a.m. Just when I wake up. Because that's the moment I feel like I can be most productive. So if you feel like you're a like one of these three, try for yourself to uh, adjust something and see if that works better for you. And it takes a while to adjust your routine and actually get used to it. But once you do, it can really help you to perform better at certain times of the day. So once you know what kind of sleeper you are, let's talk actually about sleeping. Because eight to nine hours is basically the best kind of sleep you can get. Um, because if you sleep seven hours for a few weeks in a row, like if that's your standard, it decreases your mental ability by 33%. And that's quite a bit actually, by just one hour sleep less per day. And it gets worse like really fast. With six hours, after just five days of sleeping six hours, your mental ability is decreased by 60%. So if you really have lack of sleep, during the night, it really you can really struggle. And there are some exceptions, but those are very, very rare. Um, so probably you shouldn't assume that that's also the case to you. Of course it can, but try out try it out to sleep longer if you sleep only six hours a night and see if that helps for you. And if you do an all night eh? so you have like a 24 hour stream or you want to study for a test and you go through the night, it decreases your mental ability by 30%. So it's probably better to just go to bed than go all night and try to get better that way. So sleeping is very important and it's so important that even naps help a lot. There's been studies where it shows that a 26 minute nap increases the awareness by 34% and reaction by 16%. And that's just a 26 minute nap. It's so little, but it helps a lot. So if you have an important game or important tournament coming up, have a little nap beforehand and maybe that will help you. So what actually is mental ability? It is a few different things combined together. But the most important is the attention, the muscle memory, executive functions, logic and your mood. So you can imagine that if this is lowered by 60%, your performance in gaming will be a lot lower than it could be. 
Alright, next up is exercise. And there are a lot of pros who, who exercise to get better. Because not only gaming helps you get better at things, you have health, your brain has to be healthy, your body has to be healthy. And there's also a few pros of exercise, which are improved cognitive ability, improved health, increased self esteem, and increased focus. And I mean, this is already there when you only uh, exercise two or three times a week for just 30 minutes. It's a very little effort you can do, and that helps amazingly much. Because only two times or three times a week, 30 minutes, it improves memory, lowers anxiety and depression, and increases the oxygen transport to your brain and increases your focus. So by just taking less than two hours a week to exercise, like one to two hours a week, it helps so much to perform way better. And that's why I all rec recommend it to just go for a walk, go for a run, because it helps you get better in game too. That's what I want to talk about is your diet. Because uh, according to studies, healthy food can increase the IQ by on average 18 points. And that's just healthy food and nothing else. So what is healthy food? There's a lot of different things that can help you, but the brain needs three things that most often people lack of. There's our enzymes, which are in fresh fruit or vegetables, omega-3, which is in fish, and choline, which are in peanut, egg, and organ meat. So when you play a game, you can. it's really nice to have like a, a bucket of peanuts next to you, which you can eat during the game, because it also repairs damaged brain cells, which is really helpful to think better. <laughs> also, no to very little extra sugar is better too, because you're in, your body needs very, very little sugar, and it's in a lot of things already. So let's talk about the meals. Well, I want to talk about breakfast, lunch, and diner, and what would be good for the brain. So for breakfast, it's good to have some more glucose at the start. So that is things like sugar. But there, it's of course important to be healthy with it. So fresh fruit, or like cereal, that, that can help really much. Because when you wake up, after a long night of sleep, your glucose level is pretty low and you need to fill it up for the rest of the day so you have energy. And lunch, it's important to have some more protein. Uh, it's like in meat. And for less, it's dinner for carbohydrates. And this is so you can sleep better and actually have something to burn while you sleep. And last but not least, the drinks. Water. Just plain water is the best way to go, like by far. Next up is like fruit juices or vegetable juices, uh, but water outranks everything always because your brain consists of 70% of water and it's like you need a lot of it, like one and a half to two liters a day next to all your food. And because if you don't get enough water, you will get tired and lack focus, you get headaches, eye aches, maybe you've, yeah. People always say, stay hydrated, and that's for a reason. If you play games, especially on high level, then lack of water can make the difference. All right, so let's give a small summary. First, find out what kind of sleeper you are. Sleep at least eight hours a day and take a nap. Eat food with enzymes, omega-3 and choline. Drink water. Because healthy habits, it goes healthy brain, and it gives you better performance in game. So if you want to take the, your your rank into the next step, maybe try one of these things and see if it works for you. It will take time to uh, see the effect of it, because your body has to adjust to it. So keep trying it, put your growth mindset on, and believe that this can help you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, I really enjoyed making this, but it's a lot of effort to like f find all the information so i really appreciate all the support you can give me thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time